welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about 10 things that you need to know before you get a French Bulldog. I have a French Bulldog named Skye. She's one years old now and these are things that I wish I knew before getting her and things that I think are so important for you to understand before you get a French Bulldog because they're a very unique and loving breed. So if you're interested, be sure to subscribe down below subscribe to my blog and let's get into the video. For my first thing that you need to know before getting a French Bulldog is you need to know that dogs are basically another member of your family and I think people start to think oh well, I'm just gonna get a dog and you know I can still live my life and it'll be home when I want to come home to it but it's really not the case. French Bulldogs are people uh dogs that really love their people and that like to be with them all the time so getting a french bulldog means that you need to be aware that you need to come home and play with them they're not a dog that you can kind of leave all day and go to work they're kind of the type of dog that needs to have someone um throughout the day interacting with them and taking care of them um my dog is like that but i know it's not the same for every french bulldog some might be able to be like left home alone but it's definitely important to realize that Frenchies need constant care and really need someone home all the time with them. I also want to talk about the money aspect. Um, this kind of leads into my second tip, but make sure you understand that getting a dog is like getting another family member or bringing home a baby. You need to have the money to take care of the dog. You need money for vet. You need money for food. It's not just something you're going to get and it's gonna you just cheap and you're fine and you're living your life like you need to make sure you have the money for even emergency medical costs that aren't covered by whatever insurance plans you get so it's definitely something really important to realize that a it's a number another person that you're adding to your family and b you need to make sure you have the finances to take care of the dog before you bring it home my second thing you need to know about Frenchies is that they are very high maintenance dogs in the sense that they're susceptible to a lot of things. Um, in the first year that I had Skye, she had an upper respiratory infection or a kennel cough. Um, she had an ear infection. She had a UTI. Um, she had to have her anal glands uh, suppressed. She had an infection on one of her paws. So due to allergy so Frenchies definitely have a lot of health problems that um, can come about and it's important to realize that before getting them I definitely was aware of the a lot of the medical issues that Frenchies could have but I thought they would be a little bit later on down the road I didn't realize how often I'd be at the vet her first year so it's just something really important to realize that because of their big ears they're gonna be more susceptible to debris in their ears which means more ear infections and they're a type of dog that has a lot of allergies so it's really important to understand and to know what you're getting into on the health aspect of a French Bulldog and even further on down the road they do have a lot of um, genetic things that you could kind of talk to your breeder about but also like they have IVDD which you can they can easily slip discs in their back they have brachycephalic breathing problems. I hope I pronounced that right. But because they have a smushed nose, their airways are much more constricted. So you just have to be really careful with them. Um, but not to scare you away. It's just you need to be educated on the things that French Bulldogs can um, fall victim to in their lives. So my third tip or my third thing to know is that because they're a brachycephalic breed, which means they have the um, cute, adorable smushed in face, they are going to be more susceptible to getting overheated, heat stroke, and heat exhaustion. Um, it's really important to be aware of these things for any dog, but especially a small dog with breeding problems like a Frenchie. So it's really important to know and be able to tell the signs of heat stroke. So oftentimes when dogs are panting a lot, they can't even catch their breath, their tongue is really far out, they're drooling a lot. Um, those are really big signs. There's also could be vomiting, um, throwing up, and then in more extreme cases, they're very fatigued, they're like collapsing on the floor, and they're completely sometimes can go unconscious. So it's something that you definitely need to be educated and aware of. Um, I buy Sky cooling collars, um, cooling vests. I have a cooling mat. She has her own big fan um, in addition to the air conditioning that we're constantly running all day, every day. So just knowing that Frenchies have the ability to get overheated really fast is something that I knew going in, but as the weather got warmer, I started to realize a lot more. 
So my fifth tip is actually something that I didn't really know of prior to getting Sky and I hadn't even realized until I was talking to the breeder that lighter colored dogs are susceptible to tear stains. So I'll insert a picture of Sky when she was little here, but you can see under her eyes she has that dark color because she's a lighter dog. So any of the um, eye boogies that I like to call them um, that gets under her eyes will stain her skin. Now, this is something that you can just leave and let it be, but it's something that I decided I wanted to really make sure I took care of because um, a lot of times bulldogs have can get infected in all of their wrinkles. So as cute as those wrinkles are, they can be a breeding ground for bacteria and yeast infections and all that stuff. So you really want to make sure you're taking care of them. Now, whether that be you're going to buy like whitening cream and whitening the collar, or you're just going to take care of the um, like bacteria and yeast and kind of putting cream on it to block that out, um, it's up to you. I think that they're... Uh, the tear stains are absolutely adorable on Sky. They really give her some character, but at the same time, I do want to make sure that I'm taking care of her skin because Frenchies are known to have a lot of skin allergies. Let me come up. And here she is. <laughs> um, so for my and here's Sky, my cutest little Frenchie girl. You cute? I'm trying to smell the flowers. Um, so for number six is to find a breeder that you trust. Um, Sky, you tired? Sky's breeder was from New Jersey, and I live in New York, so she was really local. Um, I did find her through Instagram, but I was really impressed with them and I liked when I got there how the dogs were living. Um, I liked the information they were telling me and they really aligned with a lot of my beliefs. Um, you could talk to a lot of breeders and they'll have different beliefs on um, vaccines and spaying your dog and it's, t it's a decision that you need to make for yourself just as similar to a baby um, but you don't want a breeder to say in the contract you have with them that you need to do uh, <laughs> That you need to be doing like X, Y, and Z when they're already your dog. That was something that I found really important. I wanted to be able to make my own decisions for my dog and what I think is best for her based on what I believe and based on my lifestyle. So I really wanted to find a breeder that was open to that and didn't have that in the contract. And at the same time, I wanted to make sure I was finding an ethical breeder and someone that really cared for the dogs that they were breeding. I know that it's a very sensitive topic to talk about um, adopting versus shopping, but I just know that I will never be able to adopt a French Bulldog unless it's going to have major, major health issues. I do donate. I have um, some resources I'll link down below. There's a French Bulldog Rescue Network. I love them and I talk about them all the time on Facebook. I think they are awesome and I do donate to them, but for my lifestyle, it just made more sense for me to purchase my dog and I found a breeder that I trusted, that I loved and I felt like they were giving all of their dogs the best quality of life prior to getting um, bought and taken home. So that's why I chose that. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I think it's important that you make your own decisions. Yet again, it is your decision because it's your dog. So my next tip or something to know prior to bringing home your dog is that Sky loves to have her head like propped up on things so finding beds that so sky loves to have her head propped up on things so finding a bed that has almost like a donut shaped bed i'll link the bed i have for her down below but um she likes to have her head propped up when she sleeps and i also find that it actually helps with her snoring and her breathing as well to have her head just propped up similar to how a human would be um but uh that's something that she really loves and that she can fall asleep right away in a bed like that we also have a car seat for her that's a similar type of design she's sitting here on the bed like staring at me like what are you doing but i think it's important that you find a bed that your dog will love and that was something that when I was getting my dog I had no idea I was like googling like what kind of beds do French Bulldogs like and it's just random beds that pop up but now that I've had her and I know what, what she likes she definitely likes beds where her head's propped so it might be something worth purchasing one before bringing your dog home so my 
eighth tip is treats. You are going to be giving your um, dog treats for everything, for training, for going to the bathroom, for being a good dog, or just being cute. But you want to make sure you're really, really, really looking at those ingredients on treats. Um, when I had first got Sky, people were giving us treats as like welcome home presents, and I was just going to the store and like buying treats left and right. But come to think of it, if there's like ingredients in it that I wouldn't eat myself, why would I give it to her? When you think about it, right? Similar to, I mean, there's obviously ingredients that dogs can't have, but if you won't eat it because there's preservatives and things in it, then why are you going to give it to your dog? Um, there's some brands that I really, really love, like Bocce's Bakery. I like the, um, it's called like Moon moonlight i don't know i'll link everything down below again but they are like one or two ingredient treats i think they're amazing and they're really good for her um i also really like the blue dog bakery i think they're a great brand as well so just to know again that whatever you're putting into your dog's body is like what you put into your body and we want to live healthy and long lives and i'm sure you want your dog to live a healthy and long life as well so being aware of all the preservatives and everything that's in the um treats is important to know my ninth tip is they french bulldogs actually don't need a lot of space um, they also don't need a lot of activity. Um, in the warmer months, we've noticed that Sky does not do very well on long walks in the heat as with any French Bulldog or Brachys syphilic breed. So we actually decided to cut her morning walk and she only gets a nice walk at night when the humidity and heat has broke. But in the morning we are playing, we're up and we're going, we're moving around. Um, as a puppy, the Frenchies are very, very... Um, interested and curious and active so we keep her playing all day and really tiring her out there's a saying that says a tired puppy is a happy puppy and that is very true i've noticed that um she tends to bark a little bit so the times that she is tired out throughout the day really makes her not want to bark too much during the um afternoon hours when people are like walking by all over on the road um i think skipped a tip. I think I skipped number four. So let's go back to that. So number four was going to be training is easy if you have treats. Um, I think it's really important to know that Frenchies are very stubborn. They're very <laughs> stubborn puppies as you can tell. They're very stubborn. I think I skipped one because I'm just looking at my list. But training is easy if you have a lot of food. So Frenchies are really stubborn dogs, um, but I've realized that if you give her a treat, she'll do anything. So we had taken her to training classes at our local PetSmart and I really enjoyed them. But I feel like it's great to socialize the dog and to get the basics down. But if there's anything else you really wanna learn, I feel like it's better to just be one-on-one -on -one with your dog. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and reading a lot of books on dog training. And I realized Sky is stubborn and she won't do anything unless there's a snack involved. So I make sure that I give her specific training treats so she kind of gets the idea of, oh, I'm going to get something good because I'm listening to my mom. So definitely very important to know that they are stubborn dogs, but if you got food, they'll do anything you want. Finally, my 10th and last tip is they are honestly the sweetest and cuddliest and silliest dogs. I have never had a dog that will just snuggle right up with me um, in the bed. She is the sweetest dog and I don't think I could ever go back to another dog breed after getting Sky. Of course, she's my first dog, but I've been around other dogs prior to her. I definitely don't think I would ever go back to another dog. I really, really, really love her and I love her personality and I love her um characteristics i love everything about her and that's what's so amazing about french bulldog breeds so i hope you had a
So I hope you learned a couple of things before you bring home your puppy. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or comments. And be sure to subscribe to my blog and to my YouTube channel so that you never miss a French Bulldog tip or any other tips that I might be throwing out there. So I hope you have a great day. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.